Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the colors and remain standing for the scene of the national anthem and the invitation. Stand by. Colors. Change hood. Port. Arms. Step. Chaplain Crawford will now give the invitation. This must be no other collector of quotation. Uh, another another quote I saw yesterday said, A successful team beats with one heart. I invite you to join me in prayer. We thank you, O Lord, for our past and new honorary commanders. We thank you, Lord, for the support of the Mount Hope community and surrounding areas and the great relationship we have with so many wonderful people. We ask the Lord that our hearts will continue to be together for the good of Mountain Hope, for the United States Air Force, and for the nation that we serve. We ask that you bless this ceremony and we pray in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, John Crawford. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Good morning. My name is Staff Sergeant Seth Redeker. The change of command is an American military tradition deeply rooted in history. It dates back to July 3, 1775, when General George Washington drew his sword under an elm tree in Cambridge, Massachusetts to assume command of the Continental Army. During the American Revolution, military units carried distinctive flags designed to match the color of their uniforms and emblazoned with a motto selected by the commander. When soldiers followed their leader into battle, the flag provided a highly visible point around which members of a unit could rally during the pandemonium of battle. Because of its importance, the flag was used in the Continental Army's earliest change of command ceremony. The banner, the banner was exchanged in full view so every soldier could see the officer now entrusted to lead them into battle. The modern ceremony is symbolic, yet it announces the authority of the incoming commander. We will now begin this morning's honorary change of command ceremony. The 366 Fighter Wing would now like to recognize a few distinguished guests present with us today. The 366 Fighter Wing Commander and Presiding Officer for today's ceremony, 
Colonel Christopher Shore and his wife, Brooke. The 366th Fighter Wing Vice Commander, Colonel Bruce Smith and his wife, Lori. The 366th Fighter Wing Command and Wing Guide on Bearer, Chief Master Sergeant Jeff Weinberg. Chairman of the Mountain Home Military Affairs Committee and the 366th Fighter Wing Honorary Commander, Mr. Shane Zenner. The Military Liaison for the State of Idaho, Colonel Retired Bill Ritchie and his wife, Mary Kay. The President of the Mountain Home Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Robbie Robinson. The Chief of Staff of the Air Force's Civics, Civic Leaders Group member uh, and, the, and member of the City of Mount Holmes Fire Chief, Mr. Alan Herman Solo. <laughs> the 366 Operations Group Commander, Colonel Kirk Christopher Sage and his wife, Jessica. The 366 Maintenance Group Commander, Colonel James McClellan and his wife, Lisa. The 366 Mission Support Group Commander, Colonel Stephen Griswold and his wife, Mary Beth. The 366 Medical Group Commander, Colonel Sarah Day Tan and his wife, Sai Fu. We'd also like to welcome all squadron commanders, incoming and outgoing honorary commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, family members, and friends. Thank you for all attending today's ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce the 366 Fighter Wing Commander, Colonel Chris Short. Good morning. What a great day to be a gunfighter. A bit chilly, uh, crisp day in Idaho. Valdosta thin bloods and a little cold. Um, Colonel Miss Ritchie, Mr. Romasolo, Mr. Robinson, thank you for being here. Uh, to all my honorary commanders, incoming and outgoing, thank you for being here. To my group commanders, squadron commanders, and my gunfighters, uh, thanks for being here today. Uh, I want to personally thank each of you for uh, being here. The honorary commander program offers a unique opportunity to develop partnerships between the 366 Spider Wing in our community. The goal of our program is twofold. First, we look forward to sharing our exciting mission with our honorary commanders and explaining what we do day in, day out. Secondly, our goal is to strengthen our relationship with our surrounding communities while learning a little bit about what you do. To our outgoing honorary commanders, thank you for your time and enthusiasm. We are very proud that our program established valued relationships and lasting communication, and we look forward to our enduring relationship. Thank you again for your unwavering support of the gunfighters of the United States Air Force. To our incoming honoraries, welcome to the gunfighter team. Today we share a time-honored tradition of a military change of command with you. We're glad to have you with us and hope your experience over the next two years is both productive and enjoyable. Thank you all again for taking your time to be here after your busy schedules and be a part of our program. The change of command begins with the 366 Fighter Wing leadership. Please come forward to the stage area when your name is called. We also ask guidon bearers to move to center stage as your unit is called. Colonel Chris Short and Mr. Zane Zenner, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 366 Fighter Wing Honorary Commander, Ms. Kristen Armstrong Sabola, was unable to join us, but we thank her for her participation in the program. The 366 Fighter Wing Commander, Colonel Chris Short, We'll present Mr. Shane Center with a certificate welcoming him as our 366 Fighter Wing Honorary Commander. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Colonel Bruce Smith and Mr. Jamie Martin, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 366 Fighter Wing Vice Honorary Commander, Mr. Lee Heider, was unable to join us, but we thank him for his participation in the program. 
The 366 Fiber Vice Commander, Colonel Bruce Smith, will present Mr. Jamie Martin with a certificate welcoming him as our 366 Fiber Wing Honorary Vice Commander. Thank you, Colonel Smith and Mr. Martin. Mr. Mr. David Jepson, would you please join Chief Jeff Weimer on stage? The 366 Fighter Wing Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Jeff Weimer, will present a certificate of appreciation to Mr. David Jepson as our outgoing Honorary Command Chief. Mr. B. Russell Gates, would you please jo join Chief Jeff Weimer on stage? Chief Master Sergeant Jeff Weimer will present a certificate welcoming Mr. B. Russell Gates as our 366 Fighter Wing Honorary Command Chief. Thank you, Chief Weimer and Mr. Gates. Lieutenant Colonel David Stevens and Mr. Nathan Wheeler, would you please come forward? The 366 Comptroller Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel David Stevens, will present a certificate of appreciation to Mr. Nathan Wheeler as our outgoing 366 Comptroller Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Stevens and Mr. Wheeler. Please join me in a round of applause for our outgoing and incoming 366 Fighter Wing Leadership Honorary Commanders and Command Chiefs. We will now continue to the 366 Operations Group. Colonel Chris Sage and Ms. Sue Martin, would you please come forward? The 366 Operations Group Commander, Colonel Chris Sage, will present a Certificate of Appreciation to Ms. Sue Martin as our outgoing 366 Operations Group Honorary Commander. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Ms. Erin Reinschau, will you please join Colonel Sage on stage? Colonel Chris Sage will present a certificate welcoming Ms. Reinschild as the 366 Operations Group Honorary Commander. Thank you, Colonel Sage and Ms. Reinschild. Lieutenant Colonel Aaron Myers and Mr. Jamie Martin, would you please come forward? The 389th Fighter Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Aaron Myers, will present a Certificate of Appreciation to Mr. Jamie Martin as our outgoing 389th Fighter Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Mr. Heidi Stutzman, would you please join Lieutenant Colonel Myers on stage? Lieutenant Colonel Aaron Myers will present a certificate welcoming Mr. Brian Stutzman as the 366 Operations Group Honorary Commander. Unfortunately, he could not be with us today. Accepting on his behalf is his wife, Ms. Heidi Stutzman. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Myers and Mrs. Stutzman. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Quintini and Mr. Brandon Starwell, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 428th Fighter Squadron Honorary Commander, Mr. Craig Roth was unable to join us, but we thank him for his participation in the program. The 428th Fighter Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Quintini, will present a certificate welcoming Mr. Brandon Starwell as the 428th Fighter Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Quintini and Mr. Starwell. Lieutenant Colonel David Anthony and Mr. John Mendiola, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 366 Operations Support Squadron Honorary Commander, Ms. Cindy Vaughn, was unable to join us, but we thank her for her participation in the program. 
The 366 Operations Support Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Damon Anthony, will present a certificate welcoming Mr. John Carlos Mendiola as the 366 Operations Support Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony and Mr. Mendiola. Lieutenant Colonel William Mitchell and Ms. Vance, Mr. Vance Poe, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 266 Honorary Commander, Ms. Nancy Jo Hawley, was unable to join us, but we thank her for her participation in the program. The 266 Range Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Michael, will present a certificate welcoming Mr. Vance Poe as the 266 Range Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell and Mr. Poe. Mr. David Skinner and Lieutenant Colonel Norton, please come forward. Lieutenant Colonel, uh, our, our outgoing 726 Air Control Squadron Honorary Commander, Mr. Don Ricker, was unable to join us, but we thank him for his participation in the program. Lieutenant Colonel Norton will present a certificate welcoming Mr. De Dennis Skinner as the 726 Air Control Squadron Honorary Commander. Please join me in a round of applause for our outgoing and incoming 366 Operations Group Honorary Commanders. We will now continue to the 366 Maintenance Group. Colonel James McClellan and Mr. Dave Burke, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 366 Maintenance Group Honorary Commander, Mr. Blake Watson, was unable to join us, but we thank him for his participation in the program. The 366 Maintenance Group Commander, Colonel James McClellan, will present a certificate welcoming Mr. Dave Berg as the 366 Maintenance Group Honorary Commander. <laughs> James MacArthur and Dennis Skinner, would you please come forward? The 366 Aircraft Maintenance Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel James MacArthur, present a certificate of appreciation to Mr. Dennis Skinner as our outgoing honorary commander. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. Mr. Cliff Auburn, would you please join Lieutenant Colonel MacArthur on stage? Lieutenant Colonel James MacArthur will present a certificate welcoming Mr. Cliff Blockhorn as our 366 Aircraft Maintenance Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel MacArthur and Mr. Ogborn. Please join me in a round of applause to our outgoing and incoming 366 Maintenance Group.
The 366 Communications Squadron Commander, Major Ellen Knapp, will present a certificate of appreciation to Mr. David Bird as our outgoing 366 Communications Honorary Commander. Thank you, Major Knapp and Mr. Bird. Please join me in a round of applause for our outgoing and incoming 366 Mission Support Group Honorary Commander. We will now continue to the 366 Medical Group. Colonel Sarah Day Tan and Mr. Clint Longhorn, would you please come forward? Due to the 366 Dental Squadron inactivation this past summer, we will not be having an incoming honorary commander. The 366 Medical Group Commander, Colonel Sarah Day Tan, will present an outgoing 366, will present a certificate to our outgoing 366 Dental Squadron Honorary Commander, Mr. Clint Longhorn. And for a certificate of appreciation for his participation in the program. Thank you, Colonel Tan and Mr. Ogden. Lieutenant Colonel Eamon Strand and Mr. John Yearsley, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 366 Surgical Operations Squadron Honorary Commander, Ms. Karen Hodge, was unable to join us, but we thank her for her participation in the program. The 366 Surgical Operations Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Eamon Strand, will present a certificate welcoming Mr. John Yearsley as the 366 Surgical Operations Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Strand and Mr. Yearsley. Lieutenant Colonel Darrell Sumrall and Mr. B. Carey Lauder, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 366 Aerospace and Medicine Squadron Honorary Commander, Mr. Marshall Baker, was unable to join us, but we thank him for his participation in the program. The 366 Aerospace and Medicine Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Darren Summerall, will present a certificate welcoming Mr. B. Carey Lauder as the 366 Aerospace and Medicine Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Sumrall and Mr. Lauder. Lieutenant Colonel Chris L. Eskridge and Ms. Desiree Morgan O'Brien, would you please come forward? Our outgoing 366 Medical Support Squadron Honorary Commander, Mr. Greg Maurer, was unable to join us, but we thank him for his participation in the program. 366 Medical Support Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Eskridge, will present a certificate welcoming Ms. Desiree Morgan O'Brien as the 366 Medical Support Squadron Honorary Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Estridge and Ms. Morgan O'Brien. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause to our outgoing and incoming 366 Medical Group Honorary Commanders. This concludes our Change of Command ceremony. Thank you to our honorary commanders for joining us today. On behalf of the men and women of the 366 Fire Wing, we sincerely appreciate all your support. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the singing of the Air Force song.